Hey guys, this is Renika van Wijk, aka Nick Van Wick for Epitome Tutorials. Today we're gonna do tutorial number one, which I call the clone effect. Let's see what we're gonna be doing. So I shot this on a tripod, it was two different takes, then I just masked out the one shot in After Effects. Let's go to After Effects. So in After Effects, you can double click in the left pane here to import. This is my two files I'm importing and just click open. Then you can drag these two onto this little icon here, which creates a new composition. Just say OK. Next, I want to use this shorter clip for the masking. So I'll put that one on top. And what I usually do is choose the top one, hit T for opacity. And just turn your opacity down to about 50%. So you can see how the two files work together. You also want these two to not overlap. So these guys are almost overlapping and you'll have to mask out right there. And that's a little bit of a pain sometimes. But if you have that time, you can, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to move this one forward a little bit for me now just for the sake of this tutorial. And there you can see they're not overlapping at all. Now you can turn back up your opacity while you're done there and choose your pen tool and make a selection around your first guy or object, whatever you're masking out. And what that does is you can see if you solo that one, it just cuts that piece of the video. So um, you can select your selection tool here just to move it up a bit there. And then we can start animating this mask because it has to move with the guy. Otherwise, he cuts out like that. So to animate, you open your mask. If you don't see it, if it's like this, you just open it there, open your masks, open that one. And these stopwatches are your animation stopwatches. So Click on that when you're ready like this. Click on the stopwatch and it creates a keyframe right here, right here on the timeline, excuse me. Then you can move forward, move this mask around just to follow that. And you can see what it does there. It moves with, with that first shot. You can move it a little bit more, yeah. Very quick and easy fix for this kind of effect. Move it to around there. And move it down here. Just make sure you get the shadows in as well, because I see uh, I'm cutting out a few of my shadows right there. Uh, what you can do is just click in any open spot here yeah? and then you can drag your points just to make them a little bit bigger and right there a little bit more maybe and let's do that's fine and it's cutting out there a little bit so just make sure you're not cutting cutting out anything and that everything is in frame. Other thing I'd like I like to do as well is just to feather the mask out a little bit so you don't get that harsh line when I click here. You can see you can't really see it on that, but if I move through like this, you can see that line there. If you mask it out, it creates like a smooth transition between the two shots. Now you don't see the line. One other quick tip that I can give you is a manual vignette that you can create. How you do that is simply right click here, say new, create a solid, black solid is fine with that size. Go up to your ellipse tool here. If it's not selected, you can select it there. 
double click on it. In the mask section here, just invert it. And then you can feather it out. And expand it a little bit. And play with the opacity if you like. That's a subtle, subtle little thing that you can add. But it gives a quite nice effect there. And you can also add some contrast and play with the colors the way you like it to. Just to uh, make these two fit together a bit better. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me. You can subscribe if you liked it. And drop me an email if you want any other tutorials that you might not find on, on YouTube. And I will be happy to do those for you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. I'm Nick Van Wick for Epitome Tutorials. Have a nice day.